Hi, how are you today? Hey, in today's video, I want to talk to you about something really important, and it's because you are important. Yes, I want to talk to you about your twin flame journey, your activation, and timelines. Hi, I'm Patricia. I help people with their twin flame journey, their new twin flame body, the integrations, the healing. I'm a master healer and teacher and I'm a people person. So let's get right into it, shall we? In this video, I wanna to talk to you about have you broken your twin flame timeline? This is really important, and I'm gonna tell you why, and in fact, I drew a little diagram here and going to explain a few things to you. Now, there is a reason you have been activated and woke up about this. Even if you just came across the words twin flame somewhere and you got curious and you started looking. What I'm going to talk to you about is your timelines and accelerations and slowdowns. So you have some mastery over this because at one point you were a master. I want to encourage you that you're maybe not as dead in the water as I as you may think you are. You're not as dead in the water as you may think you are because you have mastered so many things. You've mastered climates. You've mastered relationships. You have mastered yourself. However, when it comes to this, this is all so new. It is so new that it is cre it's not just a niche anymore. There's a momentum to create here. So I want to talk to you about timelines. And so I have this diagram here and we have the old timeline. And in the old timeline, you're very passive. What that means is a lot of times your soul is doing some things for you. It can seem very miraculous, and it is. You can have small miracles, and you can have big miracles. You can have near misses. You can have near-death experiences. You can feel as though you've resurrected yourself out of a situation. You have a lot of help to do that, but you're also here to help. So in the old way... Some of these things, particularly in the third and the fourth dimension, we attribute this to the divine. We attribute this to our souls. We attribute it to love because you are loved. But it is truly beyond all earthly measure because you are a multidimensional being. So what happens though when people stay in the old timeline and they don't lift a finger? You might be watching videos. You might think you know. You may even have some experiences. Okay, there's a lot of things people do try to do. They do astrology. That's not your life body. It's fun. It can be informative in terms of personalities and archetypes, but it is not the same as developing your brand new light body and your brand new chakras and your marma points. The marma points are important because those are shared connections. That does not happen passively. That has to happen actively. So what winds up happening is people go on a hunt, they go on a search, and they wind up getting recycled messages. They get really upset at, you know, people that come out and somehow the message is the same. There's a reason for that. We get some of the same energies every year, which are intended to nudge and push people and make active decisions to get out of an old timeline, to finally get up to here where they say, enough already, I need change in my life. But this is what hangs people up sometimes. Recycled messages giving too much attention to numbers or numerology. I'm not a numerologist. I'm not even going to pretend to be, okay? Maybe other people do that. The most gifted people will also help you with other things, with some form of understanding the deep archetypes of numbers and astrology and so forth, okay? Those things came up as the result of the human mind trying to make sense or rationalize the supernatural things that happen in the world. And some of those supernatural things are highly important to nudge people where they really belong, to where you really belong on your real timeline and not just spinning around in space. So for many people, it can be like the same old, same old, same old stuff or 
same stuff, different day. SSDD, same stuff, different day. And you get discouraged. You run out of energy. You wonder where you're ever going to recharge. You wonder if, is there something you're missing? Okay. If you're having a sense that maybe you're missing something, you probably are. Okay. You have to engage and cooperate with your process. Trusting the process sometimes leaves you spinning in space. And guess what? The twin flame is dead on arrival, meaning you can't detect them. You can't feel them. You can't tune into them. You don't know what each other needs. And yeah, you need stuff. You need to be able to do that. That's not being needy. That's being necessary. That is being necessary to each other. You're not going to do it all for each other. You do a portion, your other does a portion. But if all you're thinking of is there's an 1111, that's not going to cut it anymore for a lot of people because you're too important for that. It's frankly 1111 two times a day, 24 hours a day all over the world. So just because you saw an 1111, what are you aligning? You really have to ask yourself that. And if you don't know, maybe it's time to graduate to the next things. Are you hitting the glass ceiling? Now, some people can feel that. They can feel like they're not getting anywhere. They try to rise and people will call it blocks. Your twin flame love is more powerful than any interference than any people, than people's minds, it supersedes things. It's part of the reason some really great world leaders have been able to get progress simply because they did it differently. They did it utilizing who they were, not necessarily their minds, okay? Because the mind will think of things like retaliation, revenge, um, an eye for an eye. That stuff is in ancient books. It is not going to help you. What has to help you now is asking each other, what is it that you need? What is it I need? I need to let you know what I need and you need to let me know what you need so we can make progress, so we can do this. We, 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 we are the ones here to do this. We are important. Say that to yourself. Type it into the comments. We are important, please. Because if you're not believing it, it's time to really feel what this is supposed to feel like. It's not an endless series of narcissistic things. In fact, that's part of the breakthrough. When you are hitting the glass ceiling, you're meeting the same people. How do you unplug from the earth and get each other unplugged so that you can actually get where you're going to? Are you feeling angry? Are you feeling discouraged? Are you feeling angry at like, People like tarot readers who have good intentions, but they're giving you messages. I mean, you could pull out of card. In fact, I remember a James Bond movie where he kind of tricked the girl into sleeping with him because he put all lover's cards. Now, he must have ran out to the store, bought like uh, 50 packs of tarot cards and just took the lover card out of it. And as soon as she pulled one, she felt that she was obliged to sleep with James Bond. I mean, that's the kind of manipulations people are using. Lots of good people with good intentions, and yet is it cutting it for you anymore, okay? Are the cards telling you something that is encouraging, but they're not telling you how to heal, how to undo your blocks, how to dissolve those blocks seamlessly, how to make many miracles happen for yourself, okay? so. Are you feeling angry and discouraged? Well, in some ways, I'm going to say, good. I'm so angry. I just keep everywhere I turn, like things are just telling me something. And I just want to get, I, I think I'm going to go get high. Oh, I know what you mean. I feel like punching someone. I feel like erasing myself and letting go of this whole thing. No, I want to, I want to slap someone. I just feel like I want, I, I'm going to let someone have it she's really angry. She feels like it's been years and something's got to give. And all the attention is built up. She wants to put it somewhere, right? That's a normal reaction. But what has to happen here? They need some real genuine breakthroughs. They need to break that twin flame timeline. So let's look here at what is new. Okay, there is a new level. 
There is a new level at which you are supposed to live. At that new level, you're not dealing with the under the mind of people. You're at the mercy of people's psychic abilities instead of developing your own. Here on this side, you're new. You're developing your own psychic abilities. You are doubling up your energy so that you are superhuman. You are ramping it up and... What do you do with your other half? You wake them up inside. He's or she is pining for it. Wake me up inside. You got awakened. Now you got to wake them up too. It's easy. It's easy when you use my modality. Now, as they're going along here, yeah, everyone hits a wall. And it can make you wonder. And you can have doubts. Am I doing the right thing? Is this the right person? Am I uh, missing something? Am I... Like, what should I do? What's next? I teach you what to do when you hit those walls because part of it will involve doing twin flame body work. When you're focusing on the body, that's the thing that actually connects you. That's the actual only thing in the universe that will have an influence on the inside of the real person. Then you progress. You rise up. Okay, this is no longer a wall. This is where you're rising up. You're getting into that rarefied atmosphere of your real twin flame journey. Not spinning around under things. You're starting to have breakthroughs. At that point, you need to learn how to acclimate. How do you acclimate? How do people acclimate when they start climbing a mountain? They park themselves. They park themselves at 8,000 feet, 10,000 feet, 12,000 feet. Whatever it is that they have to acclimate and become accustomed to, because they're at a different level, it's very similar. And part of the reason you're parking yourself is as one progresses, the other one needs time to catch up because how you magnetize is you pull each other. So this is something you need to know is you have the only positive influence in the entire universe on your other half. Let's keep going along here. So you progress, you acclimate, and you get to a dimensional breakthrough. Now, this is actually a tangible level. You're not pulling 5D down to this level. You're actually pulling up. Your body is the vessel to pull up. And guess what happens at that level? Better health, better relationships, better finances, and better love, okay? Now, this is why I'm saying, even if you do not meet your twin flame, you're connecting what's good for each other. Maybe your twin flame needs to get a divorce or extricate themselves or move closer to you because they're just feeling like that place they lived in, it's all emptied out. Your energy isn't there anymore. You've magnetized it to yourself. You've drawn it to yourself through my twin flame body work. And guess what? They're feeling the direction. It's like a homing beacon. Your heart is one giant homing beacon. It has your GPS. It's your homing beacon. And you can have someone who's like, maybe they felt like a beach bum. Oh my God. The surf, the waves. I just got to do this. Who can be tied down to a nine to five job? But then it becomes, wow, I got a job at the perfect place and we do surfboards and I do instruction and it's the best of all possible worlds. And I hope to meet my person, okay? Those are the things that happen at the new level where it feels like things really do align and it's the best of all possible worlds. So... Have you broken your twin flame timeline? If not, it's time to join my workshop. Please check the link below. Join the workshop where you're going to get a little bit going for yourself on this. And check out my other things. I do one-on-one -on -one sessions. We can really scope it out here. What are you doing? What are you missing? Because sometimes you do miss things. And sometimes, just to mention this, because this is how it's been for me. As you go along on your journey... You, it gets more subtle. It gets 
you it, it's like deeper you have to be able to tune in and detect it you have to be able to commune these are all the things that i teach why do i teach this because learning it at this level lets you take it back out again out into the world into the universe that is who you are you're not here for the same old same old hey you're here to open expand grow improve like it's not just about self-improvement though if it were, you could read one book on self-improvement. This is the entire package, and that's what you're here for, and you're important. So let me help you break your timelines, have a one-on-one -on -one session. There are books, readings, and coaching. If you're not sure where things are at, definitely reach out. We are the professionals who do this, and we have done this. I've been living at the new level. Let me tell you something. It is really great. It's I'll give you an example. I was recently just in Boston for the weekend and I had booked a hotel and I really wasn't happy with the last hotel because they were just out of everything. Things in the room were broken and I was like, I, I just, you know, I don't want that same experience. I know that things happen, okay? Now here's what happened. For the same price, I got a closer hotel. When we got there, we got in early. My mom was with me. I mean, she's 81. We got there early. The lady greeted us so friendly. Like we were her friends that she'd been expecting to show up. And she was like, can I get you some coffee? She gave us little bags with snacks and water in there, candy bars. I mean, I did not expect this. She chatted with us and then she said, hang on a minute. Let me talk to my housekeeper. What do you need? A uh, double bedroom? Or do you need one king size? Do you? And we were like, no, we we want the double beds. And yeah, we'll wait. No worries. Like we were just thinking we'd store our suitcase. And she was like, hang on, let's see what I can do. And do you know what? With one phone call, she found that there was some place she was just like, do you mind walking down the hall from the elevator? And I was like, oh, that's perfect for me because I don't want the noise of people coming and going off the elevator perfect 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 and we got it and the room was tidy and clean and more modernized they had renovated this hotel which i wasn't sure of because sometimes you see the photos and they're not always as they appear and everything was just so nice and this is what i mean about when you're at the new level this is how the universe rises up to meet you where you were at where you are at where you want to be. So yes, let me help you break those old timelines. Experience a timeline acceleration because you're going to get squeezed or you're going to do it the new way and do it easily and begin having some of these great experiences that is really your other person sending messengers to you to treat you properly the way you should be, like a queen, like an empress, like a king, like an emperor. And there it is. So if you're not having those experiences, please check it out. Have a great day. Keep the blue side up and hope to see you there. Bye.